Muslims are obligated to believe in all inspired books that God has sent down to serve humanity as delivered through his prophets. Every prophet received inspiration from God. Some of the revelations were later compiled to form the content of larger books such as the Quran, Bible, Torah, and Zabur. The Arabic word for inspiration or revelation is Wahy, which has a number of meanings. Wahy means an idea or something revealed or written, commandment, suggestion, to point out something or to send a message. Inspiration or revelation comes to God's human prophets either directly or through Angel Gabriel who brings the revelation to them. Every religion that believes in God believes in revelation. God's book to mankind contained commandments of God, prohibitions, exhortations, stories, parables, reminders, descriptions of himself and his attributes, descriptions of the afterlife, heaven and hell, the purpose of life, the creation of the universe, worship, piety, morals, manners, the importance of being good to one's parents, and much more. These books seek to guide man through every aspect of their life. God's books act as a guide and an instructional manual regarding how one's life should be lived. God, in a great manifestation of His mercy, compassion, and love, sent books to teach and guide humanity. Islam counts as an article of faith the belief in all of God's books in their original pure form. Unfortunately, the modern day texts of the Torah and the Bible have been altered by men and contain mixtures of man-made ideas and innovations that corrupt their current state. Whereas these books still contain some remaining traces of the truth, they do not stand in their original revealed form. God warns in his book, So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands and say, This is from Allah, in order to exchange it for a small price. Woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn. When previous holy scriptures were altered and corrupted by human hand, God in his mercy enlisted his last and final revelation, the Holy Quran. God has taken it upon himself to safeguard and protect his book to mankind from man-made alterations or any form of corruption. The Holy Quran is the only scripture in existence today that exists in its original language and words. No one letter of the Quran has been changed since its revelation. The Holy Quran is meant to serve and teach all people until the end of time. Everything found in the Quran is truth with no evidence of contradictions or falseness and will remain so for eternity. Muslims believe that the Qur'an has abrogated all previous scriptures before it, meaning that it cancels the rulings of the previous scriptures and renders them inapplicable going forward since the preceding scriptures were meant for the previous nations and not for us. God in his infinite wisdom did not feel it fit to send down the Holy Qur'an at the time of previous nations. As the creator of the world and everything it contained, God knows who is capable of understanding and who is not. Although different revelations came down to different prophets and nations, the general message has always remained the same, to worship God alone and to follow his commandments. The Quran mentions the following books by name. Torah was sent to Prophet Moses, Musa in Arabic, to the children of Israel. Psalms, Zabur in Arabic, was sent with Prophet David, Dawood in Arabic, to the children of Israel. Gospel, Injil in Arabic, was sent with Prophet Jesus, Isa in Arabic, to the children of Israel. The scripture revealed to Prophet Abraham. Quran was sent with the last and final Prophet Muhammad to our nation, which is the last nation, to all of mankind. No other scripture will be revealed after it. Our Prophet narrated, Whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.